The Arctic is one of the harshest environments on Earth, frozen, desolate, and unforgiving. There are no green fields, no fruit-filled trees, no warm soil for crops to grow. Yet for centuries, the Inuit have lived strong and healthy, thriving on a diet that consists almost entirely of meat and fish. Without fruits or vegetables, without grains or dairy, they have defied conventional wisdom about nutrition. No scurvy, no heart disease epidemics, no signs of the deficiencies one might expect from such a diet. How do they do it? Join us as we unravel how the Inuit stay healthy on a meat and fish diet. So, much fish. The Inuit have lived in these freezing lands for thousands of years, staying strong and healthy. How do they do it? Their secret weapon is something hidden in fish and sea animals, omega-3. What is omega-3 and why is it so special? Let's pretend your body is like a super fast car. To keep it running smoothly, you need the right kind of fuel. Omega-3 is like the best oil for your engine, making sure everything works the way it should. It keeps your heart strong, your brain sharp, and even helps you stay warm in the cold. These tribesmen eat lots of fish like salmon, trout, and arctic char. They also eat seals and whales, which are full of omega-3. Unlike fried fish sticks or canned tuna, their food is fresh and packed with all the good stuff their bodies need. They also have super strong hearts. Most people eat a lot of junk food, which can make their hearts weak and sick over time. But omega-3 helps keep blood flowing smoothly, like a well-paved highway with no traffic jams. That's why the Inuit, even though they eat so much meat and fat, don't have as many heart problems as other people. Their diet is like a natural medicine that keeps their hearts strong. Also, their brains also think fast, almost like they are ultra geniuses. Have you ever felt foggy or sleepy in class? That's because your brain needs the right food to think clearly. Omega-3 is like a superpower for your brain. It helps kids learn faster, remember things better, and even stay in a good mood. That's why doctors tell everyone to eat more fish. It makes you smarter. You know how superheroes have shields to protect them? Omega-3 is also like an invisible shield inside your body. It fights off tiny bad guys called inflammation, which can make you feel tired or sick. The Inuit, even though they live in freezing temperatures, don't get sick as often because their bodies are protected by all the omega-3 they eat. So, should you eat like the Inuit? You don't have to move to the Arctic and hunt seals to be healthy. But you can eat more fish, just like they do, to give your body the power it needs. Instead of chips or candy, Try eating salmon, sardines, or walnuts. They also have omega-3. Your heart, brain, and body will thank you. Let's see another secret food they consume. Animal organs feast. A snow-covered land with no grocery stores, no fruit, and no vegetables. How would they get the vitamins their body needs? The Inuit people figured it out. Their secret? Eating animal organs like liver, brain, and blubber. It might sound strange, but these foods are packed with super important vitamins that keep them strong and healthy, even in the freezing Arctic. Think of your body like a video game character. To stay strong, you need power-ups, like vitamins. Fruits and vegetables usually give people these power-ups, but the Inuit don't have any of those. Instead, they get their vitamins from organ meats. Liver, for example, is full of vitamin A which helps their eyes see clearly in the dark. Blubber, which is the fat from whales and seals, has vitamin D, which makes their bones strong, just like milk does for other people. These organs also help fight off the cold. Have you ever been outside in the winter without a jacket? Brrr. Now imagine living in a place where it's always that cold. The Inuit need special fuel to keep their bodies warm. The fat and vitamins from organ meats help them do that. Vitamin K2, found in animal organs, also helps their bones and teeth stay tough, even in the icy weather. But how can anyone stay strong without fruits or veggies? Is that even possible? You see, most people need to eat oranges to get vitamin C and avoid getting sick. But guess what? These people barely eat any plants. Because obviously there are no trees around. The ice can never cultivate. But the Inuit don't get scurvy, which is a sickness, caused by not having enough vitamin C. How? 
because they eat raw and fresh organ meats, which have just enough vitamin C to keep them healthy. Did you know that cooking can destroy some vitamins? But eating raw food keeps the nutrients strong. These tribesmen knew this fact many years ago. Would you be brave enough to try it? Let us know in the comment section. Next, let's see another flavor of raw meat. Fermented meat. How these tribesmen eat raw might sound strange, but this helps them survive in the cold Arctic without getting weak or sick. Long ago, sailors who traveled for months without fresh food got very sick from not having vitamin C. But the Inuit, even though they don't eat fruit, stay perfectly healthy. Their secret? Fermented meat. Now, here's something even more surprising. The Inuit don't just eat raw meat. Sometimes, they let it sit for weeks or even months until it ferments. This means natural bacteria start to break it down, making it easier to digest and full of even more nutrients. It also gives a different taste and texture to the meat. It might sound odd, but many people around the world eat fermented foods. Have you ever had yogurt, cheese, or pickles? Those are all fermented foods. The Inuit do the same thing with meat and fish to make them last longer and stay full of important vitamins. How does fermented meat help the Inuit? It preserves food. In the Arctic, there are no refrigerators. Fermenting meat keeps it from spoiling so the Inuit can store food for later. Fermentation also helps with digestion. Fermented meat is softer and easier for the stomach to break down. It's like giving the body a head start on digesting food. It also fights sickness by creating good bacteria that help the body stay strong, just like the probiotics in yogurt. To people who aren't used to it, eating raw or fermented meat might sound unusual. But if you eat sushi, which is raw fish, or yogurt, you're eating something similar to the Inuit survival food. No bread or sugar. Most people think they need carbohydrates like bread and sugar for energy, but the Inuit live almost completely without them. How do they stay strong? Their bodies have a special way of turning fat into fuel instead of using sugar. Nowadays, people get their energy from foods like bread, rice, and potatoes. These foods turn into sugar in the body, giving people energy. But the Inuit eat almost no carbs at all. Instead, they eat a lot of fat from fish and sea animals. And their bodies do something amazing. They enter a state called ketosis. In ketosis, the body burns fat for energy instead of sugar. It's like switching from using gas in a car to using a super powerful battery that lasts longer. This helps the Inuit stay strong even when they go long hours without eating. Why don't the Inuit get sick without sugar? It's simply because they don't need sugar to stay energized. In fact, their diet actually helps them avoid many diseases that affect people who eat a lot of sugar. Eating sugar makes your blood sugar go up and down quickly, making you feel tired and hungry again. These tribesmen don't have this problem because their diet is steady and doesn't cause big energy crashes. Also, eating too much sugar can lead to diabetes, a disease that makes it hard for the body to process food. The Inuit, eating mostly fat and protein, don't get diabetes as often as people who eat a modern diet. Since their bodies run on fat, they can go hours or even days without eating and still have energy. This is important when they go hunting in freezing weather. You might think eating a lot of fat is bad, but for the Inuit, it's what keeps them alive. The fat from whales, seals, and fish is healthy fat that their bodies use like fuel for a fire. It keeps them warm, gives them energy, and helps their brains stay sharp. The Inuit have been living this way for thousands of years. This proves that you don't need bread, rice, or sugar to stay strong. Would you be able to give up bread and sweets like they do? And if you have, tell us all about it in the comment section. Collagen and bone health. What if you never drank milk, ate cheese, or had yogurt? but still had super strong bones. Doctors and health practitioners always told us we need dairy to get calcium, the mineral that makes bones and teeth strong. But the Inuit, who live in the icy Arctic, don't drink milk. Instead, they get their calcium from something surprising, eating bones, fish skin, and animal cartilage. Have you ever seen a fish head or a piece of soft animal bone? 
These tribesmen don't just eat meat. They also chew on the softer parts of bones and cartilage, like the skin, marrow, and connective tissues. These parts are full of calcium, phosphorus, and collagen, three things the body needs to build strong bones, teeth, and joints. People get calcium from dairy products, but the Inuit get just as much, sometimes even more, from the animals they eat. Let's see what collagen is and why it is important. Collagen is like the glue that holds your body together. It makes bones tough, keeps joints flexible, and even helps skin stay smooth. Instead of drinking milk, they eat animal parts rich in collagen, like fish skin, which is full of nutrients that help keep their joints moving smoothly. Bones of whale and seal and animal marrow. Found inside bones, it is packed with healthy fats and minerals. People who don't get enough calcium suffer from bone diseases, which makes their bones weak and easy to break. Eating bones might sound strange, but many people around the world do it without realizing it. If you've ever eaten fish with tiny bones or chewed on chicken cartilage, you've already tasted some of the same nutrients the Inuit rely on. Minimal processed foods. A world with no candy, no chips, and no soda. Sounds impossible right? But for thousands of years, these tribesmen have lived without processed foods, and they are much healthier because of it. Unlike people who eat a lot of junk food, the Inuit don't suffer from obesity, diabetes, or heart disease as often. Their secret? Eating only natural, unprocessed foods straight from the land and sea. Processed food is anything that is changed, packaged, or filled with chemicals to last longer or taste sweeter. Think of chips, cookies, fast food, and soda. These foods may taste good, but they trick the body in dangerous ways. Too much sugar causes weight gain and can lead to diabetes. They also cause unhealthy fats that can clog the heart and make people sick. These artificial ingredients. The body doesn't recognize them, which can cause health problems. Now, compare this to the Inuit diet. They eat fresh fish, meat, and fat, from animals like seals, whales, and fish. No added sugar, no artificial flavors, just pure, natural food. Most of us today eat too much junk food, which causes us to gain unhealthy weight and feel tired. But the Inuit have a high-fat, high-protein diet that keeps them lean and full of energy. Their diet helps them because it doesn't cause sugar spikes like junk food, which makes people hungry all the time. It also burns fat instead of storing it. Without sugar and processed carbs, their bodies use fat for energy instead of gaining weight. Most importantly, it keeps their heart healthy, especially omega-3 fats from fish, which protect the heart and prevent disease. What happens? When the Inuit eat Western food. In the past, Inuit people were very healthy. But when Western food, like white bread, soda, and candy, was introduced to their communities, many started getting sick. Diabetes, obesity, and heart disease became more common. Their bodies weren't used to these unhealthy foods, and they suffered because of it. These tribesmen's diet was simple but powerful. Fresh fish, healthy fats, and no processed junk. If they can live without candy and fast food, maybe we don't need it as much as we think. Could you go a whole week without processed food, just like the Inuit? Maybe their way of eating is the secret to a healthier life. Cold Exposure and Metabolic Adaptation The Inuit living and surviving in this kind of weather every day keeps amazing us, especially as we keep uncovering different secrets from their way of life. Now here is yet another secret of theirs. Their bodies have a special way of burning fat to stay warm thanks to something called brown fat. Ever heard of that? If your answer is no, what then is brown fat? And why is it special? Most people think fat just sits in the body and makes you gain weight, but the Inuit's bodies have a special kind of fat called brown fat, which works like a natural heater. Instead of storing energy like regular fat, brown fat burns energy to create heat, just like a fire burning wood to warm a house. Because they live in freezing temperatures, the Inuit's bodies make more brown fat than most people. This helps them, 
Stay warm without needing as many clothes. Keep their energy high, even in the cold, and burn fat instead of storing it, keeping them fit. How do the Inuit activate brown fat? Modern people like you and I don't have much brown fat because they live in warm places. But the Inuit spend time in the cold every day, which keeps their brown fat active. Here's how their bodies stay warm. Their bodies have adapted over generations to handle freezing temperatures. They eat a lot of high diet fat. Eating lots of whale blubber, seal fat, and fish gives them the fuel to keep their inner fire burning. Hunting, walking, and working in the snow keeps their blood flowing and body temperature up. This is exactly why they do not freeze. In temperatures that would make most people shiver and turn blue, the Inuit stay warm because of their body's natural heating system. Their diet and lifestyle help them avoid frostbite and hypothermia, which are dangers for most people in extreme cold. Some athletes and scientists today are trying cold therapy, taking ice baths, or going outside in the cold to activate their brown fat and burn more calories. Would you ever take an ice cold shower or try going outside without a coat to see if your body can handle the cold like the Inuit? Let us know if you would in the comment section. Cultural and genetic adaptations. In the Arctic, if you get sick, you can't just go to the hospital. There were no doctors or medications of any kind. They didn't even have herbs. But surprisingly, the Inuit rarely get sick. Even though they live in one of the harshest places on Earth, their bodies stay strong and healthy. Their secret, a powerful diet, a tough lifestyle, and a clean environment. Do not mistake this. Eating a mix of vegetables, grains, and meat is also a powerful diet. But the Inuit mostly eat meat and fat from fish, seals, and whales which is packed with omega-3 fatty acids. We explain this as a healthy fats that fights swelling in the body and boosts the immune system. Also, vitamin D, found in fish and seal blubber, this vitamin helps the body fight off infections. And antioxidants from raw meat which cook might remove some of its nutrients. Their food is natural and unprocessed, meaning they don't eat harmful chemicals or sugars that weaken the immune system. How does their lifestyle make them stronger? They don't sit inside all day. They are constantly moving, hunting, and surviving in extreme cold. This helps them stay physically fit. Strong bodies fight sickness better. It also helps them adapt to cold weather. E. Their bodies learn to handle freezing temperatures, making them less likely to get colds or flu. They don't live in polluted cities so they breathe clean, fresh Arctic air. In many countries, people get sick from. Diseases like diabetes, heart problems, and obesity. But for thousands of years, the Inuit didn't have these health problems. Why? Because they don't eat junk food, which weakens the body. They only eat natural foods. You see how stressed we live nowadays? Full of stress, which can harm our health? The Inuit live simply opposite without as much pressure. Their active kind of lifestyle keeps their bodies in top shape. For thousands of years, these tribesmen have thrived in a frozen world, proving that health isn't just about what's on your plate. It's about how you live. Their diet of fresh meat and fish, their constant movement, and their deep connection to nature have kept them strong, sharp, and resilient. But when modern foods crept in, so did modern illnesses, showing us that perhaps the real secret to longevity isn't found in a grocery store, but in the lessons of those who have lived closest to the land. So, the question remains. In a world full of fast food and quick fixes, could the key to better health be hidden in the wisdom of the past? Maybe the Inuit aren't just surviving the Arctic, but are showing us all a better way to live. Share your thoughts in the comments below.